and the masters of the universe. I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Let's get out of this place. What's your problem, Cringer? There are creepy, crawly things in here. Help! Help! Listen. Help! Somebody else is being munched by moths. Help! Over there. A hunger lily's got that boy. Help! We have to help him. What do you mean, we? By the power of Grayskull! to rush off while you're all tied up. Are you all right? You look familiar. You're David. David from Abra, right? I, I, I don't know. I don't know who I am. He-Man rescued the boy from a hunger lily. Tila, don't you recognize him? He looks like David of Abra, but it can't be. How is it possible? You two played with David when you were all eight years old. Well, if that is David, he should be the same age as you two. We grew up. Why didn't he? Well, he can't tell us that. He's lost his memory. David, don't you remember me? No. We used to play together, remember? Remember the time we were playing ball? We broke a window here in the palace and you were afraid of my father? But you were more afraid that I'd be punished. So you marched right up to my father and said, Tila didn't do it. I did. Oh, I was so proud of you. I, I don't remember anything. What's going to happen to me? Don't worry. We're your friends. We'll help somehow. How did you happen to be in the vine jungle, David? I don't know. Take it easy, David. Uh, if you'll excuse me. Sorceress. Sorceress, can you help? If this is David, how can he still be a child? The boy is David of Abra, whom you played with as a child. His people were keepers of the Ring of Remembrance. They were happy and contented, and all was well. He grew up just as you and Tila did, but just as he reached the age when he would become Duke of Abra, his evil uncle, Count Marzo, cast a spell that reverted him to childhood with no memory of who he really is. Well, what happened to the ring? Count Marzo has it. The spell cannot be removed until the ring is recovered. Well, David was my friend when we were children. I've got to help him. 
This is taken from the orbiting Eternoscope. Since the Ring of Remembrance is made of the rare element Memorio, I have the scope tuned to detect it. It's in the Lake of the Lost. Let's go. Hold on. There are strange magnetic currents in that area. Last time I took the radar through there, I had to recalibrate all the instruments. Then we'll fly as far as we can and go on foot from there. You really didn't need to come along. David was my friend, too. I never even knew him. How come I've got to come along? <laughs> so, they're after the Ring of Remembrance, are they? <laughs> we'll see about that. Yes, Count Marzo, you rang? Yes, Prince Adam and Tila think that they're going to help my nephew. <laughs> Stop them. Yes, Master. And they can't help my nephew if they can't find him. And the waters of the Well of Forgetfulness will help me. I got a sure cure for lost memory. I'll show you a trick so old anybody can remember it. <laughs> oh, no. Pick a card. Any card. It's a Gorgon, right? No, it's a Gryphon. Oops. <laughs> I guess I did something wrong. Why me? Why is it always me? <laughs> I like you, Orko. If you want to amuse the boy, Forget your mixed-up magic. Play a game with him, and as far away from me as possible. That's a great idea. Come on, David. 9,998, 9,999, 10,000. Ready or not, here I come. Come out. Come out, wherever you are. You can't hide from me. The great Orko sees all knows all. Huh? Orko's sure to find you here. Why don't you hide over there, David? Oh, great! <laughs> Man at arms. Who are you? <laughs> You'll never know. <laughs> Ah, there you are, my darling nephew. Who are you? Your loving uncle, and I've come to take you home. That boy's a champion hider. Help! Help! Uh-oh. Orko, somebody help me! That's David's voice. That must be Count Marzo. <coughs> Man at arms! Count Marzo, he's taking David away! Who are you? I'm Orko. You're your old pal. Uh, the Great Magician! I'm sorry, I can't seem to remember. What? Y you can't remember me? Oh, I'll help you remember. I I'll do a trick. I'll make myself disappear. Uh, Geely, Feely, Fumly, Foe. As you watch me, here I go! <laughs> I think I go. Well, that's very interesting, but silly. What's going on around here? I have to do something, but, but what? He's taking David! Who's gonna save him? Once we get through the pass at Crystal Mountain, we'll be halfway to the Lake of the Lost. Oh, it's rough country. My feet hurt. What's that? What is it? I've got a hunch it's not inviting us to a party. Oh, I don't think so either. I'll see if there's a way around it. Come on, Chris. Adam, wait! We should... He's gone. Oh, why does he always run away? By the power of Grayskull! Go back. Oh, no. I'm going through even if I have to go through you. That would not be a pleasant experience. No, you don't. He-Man! You'll have 
have to come and get me. I rather expected that. What now, He-Man? No, you won't! You trapped him! He does look sort of boxed in. That crystal is the only thing that stops the Chimera. I hope that's the last we'll hear from Count Marza. <laughs> oh, you're very wrong, little lady. <laughs> when the waters of the Well of Forgetfulness join the Lake of the Lost, the memory of any who touch that water will be gone forever. Oh boy, E-Man and Team are in for it. If they try to swim for the ring, they're gonna forget what they're swimming for. What can you do? I gotta tell them. How will you get there? <laughs> A nice birdie. Uh, uh, not so nice, Birdie. Why don't you use magic? Uh, why didn't I think of that? Why be angry? Why be sad? With this powder, I'll make you glad. <laughs> All right, d d d d don't overdo it. Hurry, Battle Cat, before the Count thinks up any more tricks. Soon the waters of forgetfulness will be waiting for He-Man. That glow in the middle of the lake. That's the ring. Let's go get it. I see him. Hurry up, Fuzzhead. I'll have to swim for the ring. Wait, stop. No, don't. It's Orko. The lake. <laughs> What were you trying to warn us about? Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Ah, you've forgotten your old buddy? He can't remember anything. He was trying to warn us. He said, the lake. That's it. This must be one of Count Marzo's cute little tricks. I'd better not go in. But if you don't, we can't get the ring. Well, then we'll just have to find another way. If I can't go in the water, we'll take the water out. Now, to get the Ring of Remembrance. Uh-oh. Which one is it? It looks as if the Count doesn't want it to be too easy for us. What this is going to take is concentration. Real Memorio should be attracted to the power sword. You hold this, Tila. I've never seen Memorio before. David will be glad when we get his memory back, but there's still some unfinished business here. I think these fish will be glad to get their old lake back. We shouldn't disturb them any more than necessary. And since water doesn't flow uphill without help, I need to create a vacuum. you. Float over here, please. Hold the Ring of Remembrance up to the sun, Tila. Now think, Orko. 
Try to remember who I am. Concentrate. Hi, He-Man. Hi, Tila. Welcome back, Orko. You too, Battle Cat. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, did, did I get here on time? You were trying to warn us. Well, the Count has David locked up in his castle. Then that's where we're going, to Count Marzo's castle. Let's go, Cat. I just remembered, don't go near the water. <laughs> I should be getting used to this. Marzo's castle. Where did this fog come from? It's cold. Stay together. Hey, man. Where are you? Who is it? It's Tila, Orko. Oh, stick with me. I know where that castle is. This is no ordinary fog. Tila, Orko, stay together. Where's together? This way. No, this way. I know this place like the inside of my hat. Trust me. Orko! I'm right here. Orko, where are you? Is that you? Give me a hand. I'm not going to get out that way. How about that way? I'm glad I found you, Cat. Me too. I think he needs the full effect of the freezing fog. It is cold, and I'd better do something about this before we turn into ice cubes. It's getting cold. By the time the ice melts, it will be too late for you to do anything to stop me, man. <laughs> Marzo's castle. It's the Great Hall. I'll use my magic. Door now open, open wide. Give me room to go inside. Uh -oh. I did something wrong. Let me try. Tila! Come on, David. We've come to get you out of here. No, you didn't think that I'd let you get away with this, did you? I want to go with Tila. But Tila's not going anywhere. Never fear. I'll get out. <laughs> or maybe I won't. Now, we're going to have to figure out what to do with you. If I could get the Sword of Power up above the fog, the power of the sun, why don't we put some light on this? Now, Cat, let's see what Count Marzo is up to. I think I will keep you three in there, possibly uh, forever. Forever's a long time, Count Marzo. He-Man! I don't know how you broke free, but you won't win against my magic. <laughs> Well, so much for your magic. I was just about to take care of that. Count Marzo seems to have an important date somewhere else. He won't get far. <laughs> he fell in the well of forgetfulness. How nice. Guests. He's forgotten to be evil. Who are you? This is the way He-Man brought back Orko's memory. Where's everybody been? Look who's here! Oh, I'm afraid I missed all the fun. That's all right. He-Man got the Ring of Remembrance back. David, hold out your hand. Now you'll be the rightful Duke of Abra. David, Duke of Abra. 
but still our friend. The ring. It will restore my people. Thank you, Tila, Adam, for everything you did for me. I can remember it all now. Well, I guess it's He-Man you should thank, not me. Well, there's one thing I want you to forget. The way I disappeared for you before. I've got it down perfectly now. Watch. Chibi, feely, finely, foe. As you watch me, here I go. Uh-oh. Anybody want to play checkers? <laughs> 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 Swimming is fun and good for you, but going in the water can be very dangerous on your planet as well as mine. But there's no chance that you'll lose your memory, as Orko did, but the threat of drowning is very real. That's why it's important to be aware of the rules of water safety. Don't play jokes in the water. Always be sure to swim in an area where an adult is watching you, and never swim alone. Go with a friend, keep your swimming safe, and live to swim another day. And the Masters of the Universe! I am Adam, Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. storm's coming. Let's find some of that sock weed and get back to the palace. Maybe we should split up. <laughs> Good idea. You three look for the weed and I'll go back to the palace. That's my hero. Cringer and I will go this way. Duncan, why don't you try over there? Orko, you go that way. What am I looking for? It's a bright orange weed that grows on trees. If it's there, you can't miss it. We'll meet back here in 15 minutes. I don't like this. Mm, sorry, Cringer, but I need the weed for one of my experiments. Relax, Cringer. There's nothing to worry about. minutes and still no Orko. I don't like it. <laughs> Neither do I. Well, at least the storm's passed. <laughs> Something's coming. Orko? Who are you? Wait, come back. Will he be all right? Yes. Looks like he just got the wind knocked out of him. <sighs> That's good news. Come on, old buddy, wake up. Uh, where, where am I? What happened? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, the monster! Adam, quick, be, 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 become He-Man! There's a giant monster in there! 
There, there, Orko. Everything's all right now. There's no monster. Now, tell us what happened. Oh, I found some saltweed, and then his big ugly monster attacked me. He must have hit me. Oh, quick, we gotta get out of here. Orko, are you certain he attacked you? Yeah, I mean, well, I, well, I could have run into a tree, I suppose. Hey, wait a minute. How did I get back here? Well, this monster, as you call him, brought you back along with your pouch. Hmm, let's look inside. This so-called monster must be pretty bright. He knew what you were looking for, Orko. None of this adds up. I want to know who that giant is and how he knew that we were looking for Salkweed. No, couldn't we ju just leave well enough alone? He must be a spy for Skeletor. Or he could be someone in trouble. We'd better go after him. Do we have to? Yes, as He-Man. Oh, no. By the power of Grayskull! For days I've been tracking that giant. I almost had him until that blasted storm jammed my equipment. But I'll get him. My sideshow will be the greatest ever seen. You, you mindless brute. They'll pay to cringe at your ugliness. And they'll pay to see your four arms. Too bad you don't even know how to use them. <laughs> and you, they'll line up for miles to see the thing with two heads. Ha! Two heads and no brains. My sensors have picked up something. The giant, I've found him! It's no good, He-Man. I'm afraid we've lost him. Yes. I'm certain he went this way. I can smell his scent. He has passed this way. Look! Let's hurry. What on Eternia? I don't like the looks of that. Uh-oh. I have him now! <laughs> Got him! Be careful, He-Man! What's this? That muscle man would make a prize attraction in my sideshow, but he requires a special trap. But there is one I could capture right now. That strange little elf. Be careful you don't get caught, He-Man. Hey! Help! Orko. I know you're in a hurry to rejoin your friends, Muscle Man. Don't worry, you'll be seeing them soon enough. In the meantime, perhaps you'd like to play with one of my pets. But I should warn you, Scorpio likes to play rough. <laughs> Have fun! <laughs> 
if that muscle man really can tackle Scorpio, he'll be the prize of my collection. Man at arms. take all my strength to stop that thing, but I don't want to hurt it. Well, do something. Look out! Well, well, well. And how are my two newest prizes? Just rotten, thanks. And how about you, giant? What's the matter? Can't you speak? Typical. Big but dumb. No matter. As long as you can manage a few grunts, you'll keep my paying customers happy. And now, I must leave you. My sensors picked up a winged man nearby, so we'll pay him a visit now. Hey, when are you gonna let us out of here? Oh, I'm not. You and your friend are now a permanent part of my traveling sideshow. <laughs> Because I was ridiculed for my great size. Because I was hated for my fearsome appearance. Because I was an outcast from the world of men. Because people are cruel. Even you feared me at first. I know, and I'm sorry. Years ago, I fled the cities to live as a hermit in the evergreen forest with my friends. Friends? The wild creatures of nature. They do not ridicule me. In all that time, I've spoken to no one. Until now. Well, I'm sure glad you did. My name's Orko. What's yours? It's Cambro, little friend. Well, now we've got to get out of here somehow. I could bend the bars, but they aren't safe to touch. That looks like the control panel over there. If there was some way to shut it off... Hey, well, I've got a few magic tricks up my sleeve. Thunder, lightning, clatter, and hail make my body thin as a rail. Now what? He said something about going after a winged man. He must be going to Avion to capture my friend Stratos, the bird man. If only we could contact He-Man the Man-at-Arms somehow. This is an intercom for talking with other places in the ship. But it could be turned into a long-range radio to contact your friends. Oh, great! But who can do that? I can. Huh? But I need a seal remover. One seal remover coming up. Uh, and well, me with lollipop do? No, huh? What? This is going to take some time. I only hope that He-Man's doing all right against that awful monster. I think we lost that scorpion creature. Wrong again. If I can't stop that thing soon, one of us is going to get hurt. He-Man, what about that river? Well, if I could divert it, it might solve our problem.
give us any more trouble. Now, what about Orko and... Orko calling man-at-arms! Orko calling man-at-arms! Orko, are you all right? No! The guy who caught us is running some kind of circus show, and now he's after Stratos! We're on our way. We've got to get to Avion. Run back and take the Wind Raider. I'll go on foot with Battle Cat. To Avion, Cat! <laughs> Stratos. I don't know, but I'd better take a look. This is better than I'd hoped for. Birdman, you're mine! Stratos! Demon! I'll free you, Stratos. Thanks, He-Man. But what's going on? I'll explain later. Right now, just carry me up to that ship. I'm aboard, my friend. Stratos, look! They must be coming to rescue me! Birdman! No! Go back! So, not only did that muscle-bound hero defeat Scorpio, he takes away my Birdman! I'll catch so many of those bird brains that even he can save them all. And I'll catch him as well. <laughs> Got you! <laughs> I may have lost the bird man, but I've got the muscle man. Those bands are solid titanium. Even he can't escape from them. Imprisoning all these creatures just for one sideshow. How can one man be so cruel? Perhaps if his pets were free, he'd see things differently. My creatures! No! You mean, what have I done? No! You're quite a brave fellow, as long as these creatures are in cages. But now, what are you going to do? No! Put them back! They're all dumb beasts! Keep them away from me! Help me, please, muscle man! You don't hurt me! Again, you misunderstand me. Do not harm him, my friends. Do not spoil your freedom with hate. You have your freedom. It is enough. They all understand you. How? For years I have lived as a hermit among their kind in the wild. I understand them, and they understand me. Uh, 
It's a large story, He-Man. And so you had the knowledge to turn the ship's intercom into a long-range device to contact us, Cambro. Yes. As a youth, I excelled at science. I graduated from the Science Academy by the time I was 16. But by the time I was 20, my great size and frightening appearance created fear and hatred in all those who saw me. It is unfortunate that there are still people in the world who judge a person by the way he looks. Well, I've been looking for a new lab assistant. Orko, could you uh, recommend one? Him! Him! Well, Cambro, what do you say? In all my life, I have never experienced such kindness as I have received from you three. Thank you all. You've been away from humanity for a long time, Cambro. There are still many of us who judge a person by his appearance. But we're learning not to. Perhaps from the example of your intelligence and courage, more will learn. And the masters of the universe! I am Adam. Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man-at-Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. What is it, Raina? The river has stopped. There's no water at all. Look at our crops. Without water, they'll soon die. And we'll starve. And yet, there is water. But it has been cut off from us. Fisto is the one who changed the course of the river, and he's the one who's going to pay. Your father has made up his mind, but he may need help. Oh, the king and queen. Oh, grandfather, I must go to the palace. 
Your Majesties, our land was happy and peaceful until Skeletor put our Elf Lord under a spell and made Visto ruler of the forest. My father has gone to the forest, and I'm afraid Visto will do something bad to him. Please help us. Adam, you will be king someday. What do you think? Of course we'll help you, Reyna. Won't we, Cringer? Oh, what do you mean, we? Don't worry, Cringer. I'll send Tila along with you and Adam. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. With these mighty warriors to help, I'm sure that with mighty warriors, none of you stand a chance against a villain like Fisto. M my, my thoughts exactly. It's just as I thought. We have Fisto to thank for our dying crops. Here's where he blocked the river. Exactly. And now you got the chance to thank Fisto in person. It's best we walk from now on. We don't want the attack track to damage any of the trees. trees! Oh no! Fisto and his evil spider are right behind my father! Adam, go and head them off. Then I'll come up behind them. And be careful! I'll do my best, Tila. Come on, Cringer. <laughs> come on, Cringer. All right, we'll go this way. So, they think they'll surprise me. <laughs> I'll give them a sticky welcome. wants to play rough, huh? By the power of Grayskull! as tough as they come. Well, it looks as if Adam and Cringer have gone on to the village. It's just as well. They should keep out of dangerous situations. But I'm sure glad you two came along. Skeletor's spell may have imprisoned the Elf Lord and made you ruler of the forest. 
But someday we'll defeat you. And then we'll bring happiness back to our land. Only fools want happiness. I prefer power. <laughs> prisoner by a tree. Reina! No! My daughter has done nothing to hurt you. Why are you doing this? Because people will stop me if I let it. <laughs> but they never get the chance. Happening. But I don't think it's what Orko had in mind. Those branches are growing inside. Oh, no. It's no good. They keep right on growing. I didn't say grow tree. I said go free. Now, time for some of my magic. Magic digging. Quick, everyone, down the hole. Good work, Battle Cat. Next time, Tree, listen more carefully to what I'm saying. That's just the problem. Ever since our Elf Lord was imprisoned by that evil spell, the trees listen only to Visto. Well put, Reyna. <laughs> I'm sure it's just what he wants, but I'm going after him. Me too! After all, he may lead us to my father. And he may lead you right into a trap. Battle Cat, you go with them. I'll scout around upstairs and see what I can find. Mm, the scent leads this way. Look! That's where all the water Fisto stolen has gone to. It still doesn't tell us where he's keeping my father. You'll find out soon enough. Once you are my prisoners as well. What's he up to now? You're about to find out. Us right into a trap. We, we, we better get out of here because the water's rising fast. Oh, it's no use. The gate's just too heavy to lift. And since this gate's made of wood from Fisto's forest, my magic won't work either. Only He Man can get us out now. And I'm afraid no one's going to tell him you're here. Fisto, look out! Uh, oh, no. Uh, uh, I'm trapped. Fisto, are you all right? Yes, but not for long. Now, we are all doomed. A 
That must be Festo's headquarters. And his prison, too. Wait a minute. This vine shouldn't be sticking to my hand. It's not a vine. It's one of the spider's web lines. That's Orko. Sorry, Arachna. We'll finish our tug of war game later. That water's rising fast. I sure hope He Man heard me. I can get through, and I'll find He Man and bring him here. you through. Orko, no magic, please. Don't worry, Tila. Just a real good push. We did it. Uh, oh, I only meant to use the water to push you into my trap. But now that I can't shut it off, I'm doomed. Doomed. And you better get out while you can. But if I get that rope, couldn't you pull the log off yourself? Yeah, but why would you do that for me? You're a person in trouble, and I can help. That's what my father taught me. Why help me after what I've done? Is this a trick? It's no trick, Fisto. Hurry, or it'll be too late. <laughs> Raina! Hurry, He-Man! This way! <sighs> Free at last! But it's what you do with your freedom that counts. That's right, He-Man, and I, I... I think the first thing is to free your friends in the cave. And I want to help. That little girl left me trapped. But she treated me like... like a real person. Like, like a friend. And now I, I guess, guess it's, it's my, my turn, turn to start acting like, like one, one too. Well, I'd say you're off to a good start. Could anyone forget you, Orko? But what about Raina's father? We're going to get him out right now. It won't be easy. The trees are under some kind of enchantment. You're right. They're under Skeletor's spell. And now that I've changed, I bet they won't let me through either. <laughs> but I've got an idea. This is the voice of Skeletor, Arachna. Fisto has betrayed us, but my spell will give you strength. Come closer, so my spell may grant you the power to seal their doom. <laughs> okay, man, climb on board. We can't hold it much longer. If anything can get me past those bewitched trees, this is it. Three, two, one, blast off! Whoa! Turn engagement, eh, Arachna? You're not quitting so soon, are you? No! This spider must be on Skeletor's payroll.
Thank you, He-Man. But you must destroy the magic sphere and free the Elf Lord, or all will be lost. I'll do my best. And it looks like Arachna can go back to catching flies and leave us alone. You're right, He-Man. And now that you've broken Skeletor's spell, not only am I free, but our forest is free as well. Thank you, He-Man, and so do I. And then, Fisto, what happened next? I'll tell you what happened next. He-Man! First, Fisto asked Yarrow to forgive him for what he did. Then he and Yarrow and I pulled up the logs that were blocking the river, and the water flowed back to where it belonged. Oh, He-Man spoke to the king, and here I am, pardoned by a royal command. Wow, what a nice story. Hey, thanks. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. And anytime I can give you a, a hand, just let me know. And when Fisto offers you his hand, boy, that's a big offer. <laughs> <laughs> you all saw how Fisto changed from a bad guy who nobody liked into a real hero. At first, he caused nothing but trouble. In today's episode, Fisto learned that if you treat a person with respect and courtesy, chances are that's the way they'll treat you in return. If you mistreat somebody, you'll only earn their disrespect. Remember the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. So long until next time. <laughs>